many of the time, like I told you that uh, these colleges provide to this MA development studies. And we'll be talking about development and then why there is a PG course for development and what are the learning goals that you should have. So, and what careers you can expect from MA development studies. So, so talking about development, like I told you before, that there is no definite definition uh, to define or uh, to describe development. And these days, when we are talk, when we talk about development, sustainable development or sustainable is a word which attached to the development by default. So like these two are like in inseparable these days. So. <clears throat> While defining development, uh, you need to include uh, all these aspects you know, and, and you can keep on talking about the definition only for a few minutes, like multiple approaches you can have, like uh, you can compare development with uh, growth or you can uh, um, de call development as a process uh, by which you actually bring changes to the society, which are desired in order to bring uh, equality or justice and opportunities for the people. Inclusivity is the word we, we should add to this development in this definition of development. And what we mean by inclusivity is like uh, we should include all the population. And I like like the, some of you had said that all the sphere should uh, be developing. Like like we need to bring or we need to bring all this all the part of your population or not only population inclusivity also means uh, covering the uh, covering the uh, interest of uh, <clears throat> not only living things and I'm, apart from humans, you should also cover the interest of all the living things and non-living things that is there that is present naturally. Uh, so, so few of us have also started talking about the uh, the living rights of Corona. So we'll not add that here. Uh, I'm talking about all the wild animals, all the uh, social animals that we uh, we are surrounded with. So, <clears throat> like I told you, all the human needs and social needs should be covered, and 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 development is not a a, a very uh, goal. It doesn't have a very quantitative goal to achieve. You can keep on changing the goals and you can keep on changing the parameters, and all the society may have different different uh, development goals with it. So it's not very much fixed and, and, and doesn't have a final goal. And you can keep on doing it and you can, keep, keep, you can uh, consistently uh, visualize more and more problem that is there in order to achieve the goal of development. And of course, development is a cyclic process that once you do something, it will have, uh, it will leave something or it will again have, will get impacted by other thing and that will lack the society and the, the, our nation will lag. Uh, somewhere, then you again have to come up with the new policy. And like I told you, that sustainable it should be there with all these parameters. Like everything that we do should be sustainable. And and with sustainability, we also somehow sometimes we say that our resources should be available for the future generation. But but here I'm also talking about whatever the development goals that we achieved, and uh, that also should be uh, sustainable for a longer period of time. And of course, environmental needs or environmental aspect, aspects should also be included. And, and like I, I wrote here, Ambedkar University Delhi has this unique course, uh, which is development and environment. So, so they have this two year PG course, which basically uh, <clears throat> combines development with environment. So, so like I told you that if this is that important, so why we did not study it in our graduation program or uh, why there is no BA in development studies? This is because, because uh, this development study program needs a, a certain kind of maturity, which uh, plus two students and, and uh, graduate students do not have. So after doing a graduation from one particular subject or uh, one particular domain, or even um, uh, interdisciplinary graduation, uh, graduation program also exists. So if you come up, come from a particular subject, a particular domain, you have a certain perspective, you'll have a certain perspective. And then you will require to look development with that perspective also. So that's why development uh, development studies always has this PG program uh, structure in all over the world. And, and this is very much interdisciplinary. It, it, it uh, brings all the subject together to solve this uh, purpose of 
uh, understanding the development and then when i say understanding the development like like it it is in itself an absolute sense it is very complex and when we go to different different places everywhere development will have different meaning in it uh, in term of what is required to be done so <clears throat> so like like i'm telling you like when you go to andaman nicobar island their development is not modernizing the island their development is uh, saving or conserving the natural ecosystem that they have but but when you go to the some city area their their modernization is a goal or is the development goal so understanding development with the need of the region with the need of the people who are living in there this is also very important and and it of course it covers all the subjects and it, it will also and and, and see uh, since uh, it's it's more of it's a program which gives you opportunity to understand more and more and it will always have a certain level of lag you will also always have a certain level of lag of it in your learning whenever you go ahead because uh, since the since the environment is dynamic uh, all the all the things that concerns development is very dynamic so development will always be a, a subject to study for you and i will never be expert or you will never be a, 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 a <clears throat> like 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 you will need to study development always even if you have studied at pg level and to study that to understand the development uh, you need to do research you know that's why uh, and and why do we do research because all the parameters that development can have they are related to each other and you have to study the correlation among between them so so all the research techniques um, that is available or not that is available that is required you should you have to learn that and that that can be done after post graduation only and uh, <clears throat> this program uh, mostly we think that this program is research oriented this is more of a academic program but but not uh, program is also have a practical implications also and and in this two year program we will be going to different colleges different uh, communities different area different region to practice whatever learned in the class okay so <clears throat> this is practice oriented course also and and what content that it covers i have written very few of the uh, i I'm, i'm not written a few of them i have actually categorized uh, the content like like uh, when you go there you have you learn understand about society the culture and the nation and everything related to this like if you talk about nation how a nation uh, gets it government how a nation have this political system in it how we do run uh, government and uh, economy in an, in a particular nation how two nations are related to each other and culture what is the past of that culture what are the economic implication of culture and society most of all the component of these three terms and again uh, since the government plays a very uh, important role in in uh, welfare of people so and and of course the the social institution and government are same Uh, we are we, when we define and when formalize the social institution it is called government but many of the time non formal or informal uh, social institutions also uh, helps uh, in reaching the development goals like like these days we have civil societies which is not uh, a formal group but again and they play very important role in in the nation's development and and since uh, we talk about development and their Uh, and by default we we actually uh, we live through the money and we live through products and we live through uh, exchanges so 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 understanding the market understanding the products understanding the services understanding the industries and all those economic activities is important and then uh, since you all will be introduced to development and since uh, you all are also talking about that development is not just uh gdp development is not just uh, some gross parameter that economy has it's it's a holistic so you have to check all the gross parameters you have to understand all the gross parameters you have to understand that that we cannot ignore all these gross parameters even in order to reach or in order to achieve the development goals and and and, and we, while we we will be talking about all these uh, topics will not be leaving the global perspective or global uh, aspect from it 
so so your learning will will have uh, uh, but we will also study the case studies from the globe and how to contextualize their practices at your nation or to your society so <clears throat> so all these things that we are studying why we why we need to study that and 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 since after covid it it has been very uh, obvious to everyone like like now, now we all see the data before that uh, it was like poverty is there it was like unemployment is there it was like people are facing with healthcare problems it was like malnutrition exist but but uh, <clears throat> for a middle class person for a person who is living in city they don't see these uh, evils of society but now uh, after covid after uh, eruption of technology after eruption of uh, media uh, we all are able to see the plight of uh, the people and 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 we also know that we all are related to each other so we cannot neglect the people who are living in the other part of the country so uh, what challenges we do see now and since everybody is seeing these challenges and and a lot of money is being put a lot of uh, effort is being made because the government and and even the rich people or the people who are well settled they are also seeing the perspective that that uh, we all as a human should grow so so now oh, there is a need of a smart solution there is a need of professional approach there is a need of people who are uh, devoted to these cause cause so so there are some challenges that we need to take care of which is like poverty social barrier children related issues women related issues livelihood issues and 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 all those uh, area related conflicts or reason related conflicts and other conflicts among people and and health and all the modern issues like like modern issues are what what are the modern issues like technology based problems or uh, uh technology um, information technology based problem or technology based problem or uh, other problems like pollution or uh, growing temperature and everything so 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 with when when you go to study these uh, this particular subject you will have to keep uh, this in your mind that ultimately you are fighting for what evils and 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 like i told you in in that uh, interview program document review that uh, every course has some uh, learning outcomes and and uh, some capability based outcome so so i have tried to take an example of that and i have given uh, two slides here one is for course outcome which is based on knowledge and other will be based on capability skills and capability so i'll not be reading every line here but but the thing is i'll be giving a very brief idea and you can read the slide by yourself that uh, <clears throat> the learning that uh, that you will have is like uh, knowing all the aspect of development and and knowing uh, that uh, how they are related and how we have actually understood before and what are the lack that we have uh, uh, how the government of world has been trying to bring development in their nation and and recently you must have seen that biden biden has uh, a biden government has approved that 20% uh, tax will be there from all the rich people who have some certain amount of money uh, more than certain amount of money so so around 700 people will lie in that category in us so so this particular uh, tax why i am talking about this tax because this is one of the effort which we were talking since long that every country's government should bring tax for wealth for uh, should put tax on wealthy people because they have uh, made themselves rich working in that nation and they they have this uh, responsibility or accountability for the nation's development also so anyway matlab the thing is like like here i am telling you this is new this as a news in the course that you will be reading this as an a subject or as a topic where with where it will be also discussing all the pros and cons of this so the knowledge outcome will be all these informations all these implications and all these correlations and and all the studies that has been done and and uh, all the concerns that is there and you will also be able to understand the critical component of uh, development and and any the process of development 
and for the skill and uh, capability based uh, outcome you will be able to conduct research you will be able to create policies also because see uh, many times we ignore we say that public policy is different uh, than development studies but but when we will talking about development policies development studies expert will play a very important role so so when you when you going dis, discuss development as a problem you can also come up with the solution and 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 it, when you come up with the solution which is uh, which is to be uh, introduced by government this is public policy so you will be able to create that you will also be able to to uh, uh, bring and contextualize the practices which is being done in foreign uh, or international uh, international uh, not matlab international in other nation so you can bring that you can customize you can adapt for the indian environment and you can actually uh, guide the government you can actually assess the any different policy which has negative impact on development so you can actually pinpoint those errors so all these capabilities will be there with you and with these capabilities you will be able to oh, <clears throat> gain or you are able to get job or career or or, or work in in multiple sectors or uh, institutions so the the course content will also not only have uh, this but the outcome will also come which which is very important here the intervention part like like when you see the problem how will you intervene to solve that problem so so many of the time when we talk about development we always talk about issues we always talk about problems we always talk about uh, the negative side of uh, what we are doing but as a human so so when you will be studying this course you will also be having uh, intervention based approach to deal with those problems so so what will happen when you will go to this uh, program uh many of the time you will you might be studying the development as a goal for the entire state or for the entire nation but you can also be studying the same for a very small village and also maybe for a very small community living together and and in in many cases you can also use the knowledge for yourself also so so everywhere you can see problem a theoretical uh, or or not uh, not theoretical i'll be saying a structured analysis of that problem and you'll also be finding how to uh, intervene and how to bring uh, solutions and 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 how to build our uh, solution for that problem and and how the pro solution will get implemented that is also a big concern because we can be making the policy, the solutions which can be brought by government only or you can also be making uh <clears throat> solutions which can be brought in by ngos or or you can also create on your own enterprise to bring the that change so if you see that, that there is some solution which which may not may not be uh, coming by government or ngo you can start your own so so but but again there should be a factor of sustainability in that okay and uh, <clears throat> the the all three aspects will be there with the uh, development studies program the one research and again my lab, i'm not uh, i'm ignoring the knowledge gaining part like like all the all those studied you will be doing and to take the lens of other subject but after that you know when we we'll talk after the 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 subject study after the the concern study you will be research you will be doing research you will be doing practice and also again you will be bringing practice through so oh, some other organization which well, who are who have the authority to to oh, bring that policy so uh, development city student can uh, uh, get job in government organization in ngos in uh, corporate also and and uh, why i am calling i am telling you that, that the corporate can also have development studies program there because uh these days corporate doesn't think a very short term strategy we think with short term strategy they have some long term strategies also and when we develop a market in a, in long term strategy you need to bring that development as we bring economic development in that society because there is no need of that product 
uh, the service that you are bringing you have to create it and 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 that that creation might take all the learning of development studies so you can get placed as uh, anything matlab like uh, but but again this is a challenge that uh, studying development studies and telling a corporate that i can be very useful for you so so you have to think with that perspective also and and and, and many of the time i have already told you that uh, when you go to a program pg program uh, you may have higher goals than other people in your class so like if 30 students are studying in a program uh, all 30 students will not achieve the same thing so one of them might achieve uh, a very uh, good career uh, milestones and 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 one of the class will not may not be doing that good in his life or her life so this happens because you don't know actually what to do and you, and you are not able to understand that what uh capability i should be gathering or what capability on what capability i should be working in college so so all those two matlab what happens in in uh, for those students what they do is they 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 keep on keep on they keep on doing assignments by copying from other people they keep on doing all the uh, work that is being assigned just to pass the exam you will not be thinking in order to be whether you will be able to do this or or, or ever to get the capabilities uh, that is desired in industry or not so if you'll take care of that you know if you'll, you'll mark your capabilities outcome before the program so uh, so again matlab if you'll get that capabilities you'll be getting job or good, good career ahead so i am not reading this slide you can just read by yourself so so this is all for from uh, um, for matlab like like describe this uh, all in the description of ma and development studies course you can read this slide uh, by yourself also and in if you have any confusion or any doubt you know with, with any lines of the slide because you need to read it in word by word and you uh, uh, what suggestion i'll give you try to go through the development studies uh, prospectus from all the universities who provides this program like from Uh, try to go through the iit website iit's website or even not only national or uh, go to the international websites like stanford or lse also provide development studies so go to those universities go to that page where they have described their development study course try to learn that what are the uh, uh, objectives that program has and and uh, what are the career options that people are getting from those places try to read that and uh, uh, then you will be able to speak with lots of words with a perspective and 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 your statement might um, look confusing but your knowledge will not so so i was telling one of you, uh, one of the student like like uh, when you are when you are when you look too far with your thoughts and uh, it it suggest many of the time it suggests that you have actually learned through uh, rote learning and when you when you when when someone is interviewing you and and he finds you confused about something and and again you are uh, telling lot many lines you are you are uh, trying to tell many things together but but you are not making that sense but again the interviewer will not judge you because he's, he he knows that you have studied well you have learned well it's just that you are not able to put that thought in synced way so so learning word by word learning in all the parameters is important so so you can you should keep the related word or concerned word together okay and and uh, make a note out of it yes sir